it's not the same. It would be lively, lots of activity. Yeah. It should be the busiest time of year for the PJ oyster plant. Filled with the sound of metal mallets against oyster shells. Instead, there's a deafening silence. Eight months after the massive Deepwater Horizon explosion, PJ's shucking plant is still closed. 31 years of doing this, and I've never experienced anything like this. Normally, this cooler would be completely full of. Al Sanseri is the president of PJ Oyster Company, the oldest oyster processing company in the country. He's grown up in the oyster business and planned to pass it down to his son. You know, our family's done this for over 130 years. Uh, it, it, we like it. It's what we do. It's what we know. Nowadays, his company is barely breaking even. PJ shocked their last batch of oysters back on June 10th. Sanseri told his staff that day he'd be letting them go. How are you doing today? Now his full-time staff consists of himself and his brother Sal. He makes many of the company deliveries himself. Oysters from their Texas beds keep them afloat until the next harvesting season. But the damaged oyster crop is only part of the problem. There's uh, buyers in the marketplace uh, that have utilized this uh, uh, disaster that we're having to deal with to market products from other parts of the country and other parts of the world, uh, saying that the seafood from the Gulf isn't uh, good to eat. And although life has gone on for many after the Macondo well was capped, for Sanseri's business, nothing is certain. Except maybe his optimism. We're, we're hopeful uh, to be back. I believe strongly that uh, we uh, will be back. And our customer base, I'm sure, wants uh, to get back with doing business with us. In New Orleans, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.